guys, I am in Walmart right now in Florida, and I am looking for the movie we are going to watch tonight. I got a couple of ideas in mind, but looky here. They have Space Jam on 4K, which I have not seen yet. I do want to see it. I'm not, like, dying to see it. However, I do like the LeBron 17 tunes, so I ordered some. I don't know. I like weird shoes. It's getting very Christmassy up in this piece, too. A lot of people keep asking me if I'm gonna do Christmas videos, and yes, of course I am, just not yet. It's not quite time to do it. Oh, and look at this, guys. We have Ghostbusters. Ooh, this is a two-pack, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I am so tempted to buy the Ghostbusters ZigTech shoes. I love them so much. The only thing is that they're not green, which I don't understand. They're like white and blue. These appear to just be TV shows. Did you guys ever watch Punky Brewster? I mean, I used to watch Punky Brewster all the time. I can't believe it because she's so corny. I think I picked this one up when I was looking in one of the other Walmarts, Night of the Animated Dead. I kind of want to see this. Not today, but I kind of want to see it. Seagull? I wonder if this is kind of like The Birds. The Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds. Only in this one, it's seagulls that attack. Okay, you guys gotta tell me if the box trolls is any good. For some reason, this just does not come across as very interesting to me. I mean, it's a cool name, but let me know if that's a good movie, and maybe we'll do this for one of our Saturday Night Snack and a Movies. Oh, Jurassic Hunt. Anything with dinosaurs is sweet. <laughs> Holy crap, I want to buy this right now. The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. The complete series. I love Jimmy Neutron. We are definitely doing a Jimmy Neutron Saturday night. I actually have this one, the complete Knight Rider series. This was one of my favorite series to watch in the 80s. Um, I think we actually did it for a Saturday night snack and a movie, but I watch a channel on YouTube. I think it's called like the official Knight Rider uh, historians or something where they track down like all the vehicles from the Knight Rider series. Oh my gosh, this has got to be one of the best 374 bins I've ever seen. Look at this. Holy crap. Howard the Duck. I have not seen this movie in so long. I had it on VHS, but I think I got rid of it. It was part of my awesome collection. Mrs. Doubtfire. It was a drive-by fruiting. <laughs> Look at this. We got Series of Unfortunate Events and the Spiderwick Chronicles. I have not seen that one yet. Let's see what else. Oh, here's Jack Frost. I don't know. I kind of like this one, but I also can't stand it. The acting just is not very good. Oh, Monster House. I do have this one at home. We'll have to watch that one one night. Land of the Lost. This one is absolutely hilarious with Will Ferrell. I love this movie. Holy crap, look, we got Edward Scissorhands. That is a sweet cover, too. And Christmas... Oh, this is Christmas Story Part 2. I heard this one sucks, but I've never seen it. Okay, here is actually one of the movies that I was looking for. Well, this one is Gremlins, the two-film collection. So this has Gremlins 1 and 2, but I already have Gremlins on DVD. I was actually hoping to find it on either Blu-ray or 4K. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's the Grinch, both editions of the Grinch. Well, except for the, the original cartoon. But they got this one and this one as limited edition DVDs and a collectible tin. It's like a cookie tin. Kind of thin, but that's hilarious. It does not look like they have Gremlins on Blu-ray or 4K, or the other one I was looking for, which was Ernest Scared Stupid. I haven't seen that one in forever, but I do have Gremlins at home, so once again, we're going to leave here empty-handed as far as a movie, but like I said, I have Gremlins at home, so we're going to watch that. Oh, look at this, and speaking of Gremlins, I think I looked at this in one of the other videos that I made. The ultimate stripe. Look at that guy. Even the toy is scary. Holy crap. And he comes with a skateboard and a chainsaw. That is hilarious. I think that's 30 bucks, man. That is so cool. I'm not going to buy it, but it's cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. They have two other ones too. The ultimate flasher gremlin. I have to look at this. I don't know if I've seen this before. This is so hilarious. Yeah, I think I have seen it because I think I was talking about that little puppet right there where he's like, boopie bop, boopie bop. And then over here we have Gizmo. Look at that little guy. It is so hilarious. Oh my gosh, it comes with three faces and a trumpet and a Christmas hat. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I actually have this album. 
My daughter bought it for me when she took me to the 21 Pilots show. That was an awesome concert. Yep, here it is. Gremlins Special Edition right there. That's what we're watching tonight. This actually has over 10 minutes of never-before-seen footage on it. Plus a behind-the-scenes documentary. I love that kind of stuff. All right, we got our movie. So what we're going to have tonight for our snack should be pretty simple. If you remember, in the movie, Billy feeds the gremlins chicken after midnight, and that's what causes all the chaos. So tonight, we are going to have chicken dippers. Now, I got Purdue chicken breast tenderloins because they're already sliced up. You have to kind of slice them into strips anyway. I got a couple packs of garlic parmesan seasoning mix. We're simply going to put that in a Ziploc bag along with the chicken shake it up so that it covers them all, bake them in the oven, and then we're going to dip them in Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Mustard. This should be delicious. Alright guys, I got those in at 250 and I'm going to check them out for about 20 minutes and see how they are. Might have to leave them in a little bit longer, but meanwhile, I'm going to get the movie ready and I'll be right back. Alright, we got gremlins booting up here and the chicken is almost done. I actually had to put it back in for another 15 minutes at 300 because 250 was just not hot enough. These are the dipping sauces we're actually going to use tonight. We're going to use Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Mustard and this Great Value Buttermilk Ranch. I love this stuff. Just going to put a little bit of each in these little dipping bowls here. Might need a little bit more than that depending on which one we like the best. Oh yeah. All right. Those look very, very tasty. Look at that. Look at the steam coming off those things. Yeah, that is perfect too. Look at that. Oh, these are going to be so good. Look at that, guys. Does that not look absolutely delicious? That looks like something that could turn you into a killer gremlin. Okay, time for the taste test. All right, babe, we got honey mustard here. And we have ranch. Which one would you like? I'm going to try this first. Okay, go for it. Let's cut one of these in half. All right, go for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to... <laughs> I guess that. Okay. I'm going to try the same kind there, the honey mustard. That looks so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very delicious. Oh. And they're cooked perfectly, too. That's mm -hmm. exactly why I cooked them on a lower heat. Like I said, I did raise it up to 300 after like 20 minutes because 250 just was not hot enough, but it didn't dry them out and it made them perfectly juicy and delicious. Mm -hmm. So, all right, guys, we're going to go watch the movie and enjoy these delicious chicken stickers. <laughs> chicken dippers, whatever you want to call them. And hopefully we won't turn into a killer gremlin after midnight. Bye, guys.